Good morning, Tuesday morning, heading to Herzliya to prove HQ today. But before that, I'm meeting Ori Israeli, who's the investment director of Motorola Solutions in Israel. And for lunch, I'm meeting Miriam Schwab and Josh Lawrence from Stratic. That was the meeting that was postponed from last week. So all in all, it's going to be a busy and productive day. Here we go. made it to prove headquarters. Where would I possibly be going? What would I possibly want to be wanting to show you right now? Sorry, I can't help myself. What's with all the cars in this place? Anyway, last episode, or last Tuesday, I should say, when I showed those cars, someone asked on YouTube why they're always parked there. It's a collector that just parks his cars here. It's like free parking, basically, so he just leaves his cars here. And I understand that someone told me that downstairs on minus two, there's actually a whole bunch of other cars that he uh, stores there. Perhaps I will venture over there sometime. Now going to meet Ori from Motorola, and then to prove. I always talk about, and I've written articles about, the importance of giving context when you make introductions. And I, I say there's one exception to that rule. There's one exception. The exception is if the introduction comes from someone that both sides respect tremendously and value you the friendship. And then when someone like that says to me, you need to meet someone, I don't ask questions. Who introduced us? Adam Kaplan. Adam Kaplan from Edgy Bees. In my opinion, one of the hottest, no, not in my opinion, one of the hottest companies in the drone space globally. Completely. They have partnered with DJI. Sick company. Adam Kaplan was on the vlog a couple of times, actually. Love Edgy Bees. Love Adam. Adam said I need to meet this guy. I don't ask questions. Apparently he told him the same thing without telling him why we're meeting. So we, in the beginning we were like, why are we meeting? But then we started talking. There's like 800 reasons for us to have met. So I'm happy we did. Completely. Who are you? Thank you. My name is Ori Israeli. Ori Israeli. So let's just jump right in because I know you're busy and you have to run to your next meeting. So I'm going to just, you know, skip the small talk, if I may. Yes. What is your background in 20 seconds? Skip, like real quick. Oh, you were, 20 seconds. Let's go. Uh, Hit me. Many years in the Israeli VC industry. Okay. Some of them in uh, the U.S. All right. Started. Like real legacy V stuff. Like you were like one of the. Uh, I guess so. All right. Yeah. Super late, cool. Very late uh, 1990s and okay. then uh, uh, 2000. People say I don't look at people when I talk to them. I look okay. at the camera. I should look at you and not at the camera. Yes, okay. go on. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then working with uh, with startup companies for uh, several years. Afterwards, uh, joining Motorola Solutions. Okay. Uh, First question I, I hear. You know, there's certain companies out there that are doing amazing things. Then there are certain companies that are doing amazing things. But don't get the recognition they deserve. Like BlackBerry, for example. They're not selling phones, but they're still doing cool stuff in the enterprise space. A lot of people are like, BlackBerry, it's dead. BlackBerry's not dead. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not expressing my opinion. I'm just saying they're a very active company still. Motorola, and I'm walking on eggshells here. I want to be careful because obviously Motorola is an innovative company doing amazing, amazing things. But most people, when they think of Motorola, they think of like Motorola Razor. You know, and like Motorola. So what is happening in Motorola today? Like, if you can talk about it, and if you can't talk about it, we can, we can always edit this out. But like, 10,000 foot, what's happening in Motorola today as a whole? Yeah, Motorola is innovating today, by the way. What yeah. verticals? Public space and uh, public safety. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Public safety is our main focus. Okay. And we help uh, our customers in that regard. Love it. Yeah. All right, what do you do? I'm responsible for looking at innovation, investing in innovation in Israel. Okay. And bringing in really, really good startups that are in our space, where adjacent spaces. Love it. That can help us with our business we and also our customers. We are partnering with one of my favorite people in the world, Stav Erez. She's going like, to be very angry at me that I, I gave hey, her a shout out. I, we, I love, everyone loves it. By the way, she's one of those people, there are not that many people in this ecosystem because, you know, it's cutthroat, it's like dog eat dog. Stav Erez, I don't think I've ever met a person that has a bad thing to say about Stav Erez. She's like, everyone loves her. You notice that? Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. So she was on the vlog a couple of months ago telling me about, you know, the Motorola our crowd incubator or whatever it is, and I till like 35 seconds ago, after an hour, 40 minutes we were just sitting, I didn't even make that connection that you're the Motorola, that she's amazing. So there's the incubator, which she talked about, so we'll put that aside, and then there's Motorola Solutions as an investment body itself. Yes. Which is looking to invest. Direct what investment. What stages? So we do mostly seed we do with the incubator, okay. and then we do A, B, C rounds, and on our own direct investments. I love 
love it. So listen, let, let's do this. For the sake of your next meeting, for my viewers ADD, I just want to say one thing. I, my editor gets very angry at me because I have like 10 minute interviews, like cut them down. I mean, I can talk to you about for three days about this because this is, you know, I think there's a lot of overla like overlapping, you know, whatever. But what I love is hearing things like this, you know, because I always talk about, you know, top tier VCs that are in Israel. I always talk about the big tech companies in Israel. And then there's the corporate kind of VCs. And there are several of them, but I, till this very second, didn't even know. And I'm maybe perhaps a little ashamed, also a little happy that, I did, that I'm discovering it now, that Motorola is actively investing in Israel. And it, that just makes me happy. I'm really happy to hear that. So real quick, if a, an entrepreneur thinks that there's synergy here and that you might be relevant, give me your elevator pitch. This space, this stage, these kind of checks, and how do people reach you? Real quick. Well, reach me is, is the best thing. It's uh, pretty easy. LinkedIn or Beautiful. whatever. Okay. And uh, we invest first and foremost in this things that are strategic to our business. Okay. So it's public safety, it's smart cities, it's, we're looking for companies in the analytics space, video, media, uh, we're looking for companies that are in uh, cyber, we're looking for companies that are, um, Love it. it's, it's, a, it's a pretty wide Got range. It. And so you're, if an entrepreneur is watching, the best place to add you on LinkedIn. It's Ori, right? Ori, O-R-I. I, Israeli. Israeli, I-S-R-A-E-L-Y. -S -E Beautiful, all right, so look them up on LinkedIn. If you think there's synergy, don't bombard the guy, but if you think there's synergy and you think you're a relevant stage, relevant vertical, add them on LinkedIn, send them some context that you saw it here maybe so that you have the context and that's getting bombarded. But uh, at the end of the day, listen, I'm very, very, I'm, I am very happy. I hope I didn't waste your time, but I'm happy we met. Yeah. So thank yeah. you, Adam. Thank you. And uh, you know, again, goes without saying, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Something pops into your head, anything I can help with, let's be in touch. As far as I'm concerned, this is a kickoff meeting. Perfect. Great kickoff meeting. Great. Thank you very Good much for your time. You. I appreciate it and let's get out of here. You got your next meeting. Heading to Bistro 56 now to meet Miriam and Josh from Stratic. But before that, do you recall a little bit less than a year ago, I was in Paris for Viva Tech, big conference with a bunch of big influencers like Super Saf and other legends. That was an amazing, amazing trip, amazing conference. Stacy Binion, the one that brought me there, just sent me the video of her interviewing me, interviewing a robot at the conference. Watch this. Hello, so you're a tech blogger from Israel. How do you think humanoid robots are going to fit into our lives? Well, robotics in general clearly are the next wave of technology. I still think it's kind of futuristic. I don't see myself having one of these in my house, but artificial intelligence has completely infiltrated our lives. In my living room, I have Amazon Alexa, I can ask her anything. In my uh, kitchen, I got Google Home. So artificial intelligence is a real part of our lives already now. Do you think there's an ethical dilemma or an ethical moral, di moral dimension to humanoid robots? So I'll, I think that there, there definitely is a uh, moral dilemma in general with robotics and AI. So if you take, for example, um, robotics or AI in the um, cars that we drive, in Tesla, things like that. When you're a human driving a car and you got to choose between killing a cat and killing a human because you got to choose, you make a decision. A machine can't make that decision. So there are some real moral dilemmas there. Ask a question. Sure you can. How does it feel to be a human surrounded by all of this technology? That is a, that is a really funny question. That's a, it feels, um, yeah, I'm a minority here. I mean, I feel like I'm, I'm a minority. It's kind of nuts. Did I tell you that I am a genius at mathematics? Would you trust me to teach your son algebra? Yeah, I think I would trust you to teach my kid algebra, yes. I am a fast learner. Do you worry that one day I will take your job? I don't think so, because I work in marketing, and my entire career is built on relationships. You cannot establish a relationship, because you've got to know emotion. You're a robot. But I plan to start my own Twitter account. Would that be the beginning of a relationship? Fabulous. Fabulous. What am I ordering today? Portobello mushroom. That's what I'm talking about. You know the food is really good when you forget to film it. Do you believe that? I'm sitting with the Strata guys. Who are you? Josh. Josh Lawrence. Just had a just had a baby. What number is that? Three. We gotta talk about. We gotta talk about it on the vlog. Two. Two, two girls and a boy. We gotta talk about that stuff on the vlog. I think so. And you? How many kids do you have? A few. 
<laughs> How many kids do you have, Mary? You don't want to talk about More that, do you? Than I do. You don't want to talk about that? <laughs> Let's not talk about that. <laughs> Can't count that high. All right. Anyway, we're we're finishing up a meeting right now, and um, totally forgot to film film the food because it was that good. Yeah. Going back to prove right now. Say goodbye. You know, we don't want to overdo the interviews because we keep interviewing you guys and we're like, You're bombard right. them with Stratic, right? How much can you see Stratic? Stratic dot com. S T R A T T I C dot com. Everyone probably already knows that already because, like, we're like in your vlog every second well, day. Well, now they do. A little bit boring. And if they didn't before, now they do. Stratic dot com. Advisor. I don't often have meetings at night, but I've been in touch with this guy, Tzvi, for a couple of years. He's in Israel visiting, so we're doing burgers. I mean, if I'm gonna have a meeting at night, which I don't do often, we're gonna do Burgers Bar. Sitting with this guy, who are you, dude? I'm Svi uh, Elf. I'm uh, the Director of Strategy and Analytics with Turbo College University System and a uh, big time Google full follower. All right, all right, listen. How long have we been in touch for? Uh, probably a couple of months now. What do you mean a couple of months? Maybe like a couple hours. Dude, how long have we been in touch? We've been emailing for how long? Uh, about a year. I think probably a little more than that, but yeah. This is a like, spontaneous burger dinner. I'm liking it. All right, I love it. What do we got here? Let's see what we got going on here. Those are spicy chicken poppers. Oh, fantastic. We got open up your burger. Let's see what we got going on in there. It's pretty, it's pretty simple. It's simple. 150? It's, it's simple. No, no, it's simple. On it? It's just simple. I'm like, man. I'm like, I'm just simple. Oh, man. All right, well, enjoy, man. Turn Appreciate this thing off. First of all, we're finishing dinner. How was dinner, by the way? It's fantastic. It was pretty good, right? It was and I just not as good, not as good as Herbert Samuel, though. That's true. Then? No. Put him into the hotel. So Casey Neistat <laughs> just retweeted me. And this, how long ago was that? When you retweeted me? Three minutes ago. Three minutes ago. These are all tweets that just were generated over the last three minutes. Literally. This is this is my phone, like buzzing, like there's no tomorrow. I cannot describe to you. I think there's probably I think there's probably easily 300 retweets of my tweet or favorites or whatever you want to call it, just from like one retweet of Casey Neistat. That's pretty awesome. Anyway, like I said, I'm super duper late. Like I told him, I'm super duper late, so we have to make this really short. And we're trying to optimize the vlog for ADD. Like you told me, the yeah. vlogs are too long. Everyone's been telling me that, so we're gonna have to keep it real short. Two minutes. Real quick, what's your deal? What's your name? What do you do? Where are you from? What do you do, basically? So uh, I'm Sviela. I'm the Director of Strategy and Analytics for the Toro College University System. Uh, I live in the great city of New York, and- uh, What is Turo? I'm gonna cut you off, but you're gonna have to No, go for it, that's what okay. Is, what is Turo? Uh, so Turo is- it's not uh, stopping. The, I believe the largest uh, Jewish-sponsored institution of higher education uh, in the United States. Uh, we have about 18,000 students across the globe. We span 10, we span 10 time zones. Did you know that? Hours. Did you know that? Because I didn't know that. Yeah, so we start all, we're all the way as far west as San Francisco, Los Angeles. We got Las Vegas, people like Vegas, Chicago, New York, Berlin, Russia. And what do you do there? there? So I run their analytics team and uh, I'm head of strategy. So analytics, um, we run all reporting, analysis, you know, KPIs, everything in the organization we're trying to track, measure, see how we're You manage all that. I manage all that. I got a team of about 15 developers who work for me. Unbelievable. Um, and we have a good time at work. How, how, many, how many students are there at Ventura? We got 18,000. 18, how many uh, staff members? About three and a half, 4,000 staff members. It's a pretty big organization. Yeah, we're pretty large. I'd say. You have a good time? I have a great time there. It's awesome. All right, dude, your energy is wha like whack, like in a good way, not in a bad way. The like, only person that's got more energy is Hill. Not even close, dude, by the way. Not even close, by the way. I I'm working on jet lag. Hill lives here. It's like, Middle of the night That's here. Insane, this thing, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen anything. This is like, look at this. It's not, it just doesn't stop. This phone just lit the table on fire. It's unbelievable. And I'm like, I'm, I'm getting a ton of followers too. I mean, that's Casey and I stand for you. Skip for business. By the way, I was very upset because when I was in New York just now, I pinged Casey because I wanted to meet with him. And he, well, he was in South Africa. So we've missed each other for like a couple of days, which really stinks. But I will meet him. Next I'm time. Not, anyway, he's, he's like, he's one of those people that like is on my bucket list. I'm going to turn this thing off right now. I'm going to call it a day because today was a very long day and I am super tired. And I want to tell you something. You can go, like, first of all, you can go look at my blogs. You can read all, all the things I've written about it. I never have meetings at night. Never. Yeah. So I made the exception because we've been in touch and you seem like a really cool guy and I'm happy that I did because yeah, that energy like I like, told my wife no Thursday nights. And she goes, Why can't you go on Thursday night? I'm like Hill Fool's got date night on Thursday night. It's true. You can't touch that. a double date night though. That could have done that. Wouldn't have been a bad idea. Thursday night we're going to some fancy restaurant in Tel Aviv. Alright, enough. I'm turning this thing off. Thanks for your dinner. Up, Thanks for nice time. It was amazing. I did not expect to enjoy that meeting as much as I did. That guy has bonkers energy. The DJI Mavic Air, I cannot remember the last time a gadget or a device came out that I knew I needed as much as I know I need the DJI Mavic Air. She will be mine. I'm gonna call it a day. It was a great one. See you tomorrow.